The weather is good and it's time to get started on the Cattle Panel Greenhouse. In yesterday's video I had mentioned making this dish, recommended by Manchurian Palace. Well that is a braised pork belly with aromatics and Asian spices. We have an event to go to tonight and we are trying to get the cattle panel greenhouse finished outside. Uh, so we're really pressed for time on a quick lunch today. So instead of braising, I cut up the pork belly and flashed it in the skillet real quick and added several cloves of garlic, some ginger. We don't do a soy sauce, so in order to get a similar sauce and texture, that viscous stickiness, I did a quick balsamic reduction with some honey added to it. What do you think, little buddy? Looks a little spicy. It's spicy? How did that spicy? I also added a cayenne pepper. That was really, really good. Especially for not looking at any recipes and just doing it off of technique. Uh, it came out really well. Um, the ginger was the star of the show there. Of course, well, the pork belly is, but the ginger really came out. It had this really nice Asian fusion flavor. What do you think, darling? I loved it. Doing it again, I would take the time to actually make a real balsamic reduction with some honey in it just to get that essence in this a little bit more. That was not quite there. It definitely added some of that texture we were looking for, but the flavor didn't come out enough in there. Thanks for the recommendation, Manchurian Palace. We really appreciate it. Of course, this wasn't quite the same dish, but close enough. <laughs> really good progress on the catapanel greenhouse today but we had to call it quits for two reasons one we lost the sun went down and two uh, there is a 4-h event going on tonight 
Tess, the sheep breeder that we visited a few days ago and the one that we got our sheep from, has a little exhibit here tonight and we're interested in getting more information about clover buds for little Buddy. This is Miss Daisy right here. If you guys go back to the second video we ever published, Buying the Lambs Sheep Shopping, this is the little lamb that was being bottle fed. We are filming this from the future. We meant to film this last night when we got back from the 4-H convention, but um, it was late, we had a late dinner, and we just forgot to do the video. We were filming it the next day, and I'm editing it into the video you're watching now. So 4-H, I've been real apprehensive about getting into 4-H because the overall um, program, I guess, comes from that real conventional background. Plus, a lot of it's about showing animals. It doesn't necessarily directly translate to the way we want to raise our animals on the homestead. We don't really know that much about 4-H because we both grew up sort of in the suburbs. And then um, we're curious, and you, you talked with Tess, and what did you learn? Back on day 100 when we were visiting the sheep farm, I was speaking to the shepherdess there, Tess, and she teaches 4-H. She teaches veterinary science, among other classes, and she recommended getting involved with clover buds for little Buddy. I expressed my concern with her about the conventional practices that are typically taught in 4-H, and she said it's really localized. There are a lot of individual chapters, and each one varies by really the philosophy of the instructor. She invited us to the convention that you just saw us go to. We spoke with one lady who is involved in the clover buds program, and she was mentioning pigs and goats and... And she brought her pygmy goat and her pygmy pig and they were super cute. We're and not getting any of those though. But then she said, rabbits. Rabbits. It struck a chord with me because just a few months ago, little buddy was asking about getting rabbits. This was before we got on the homestead. He had mentioned liking rabbits. So what do you think about rabbits? Um, um I went up one rabbit because I think one will be fun. What would you name it? Um, I don't know. We got to discussing rabbits, and it seemed like an interesting, fun thing to do. He can do a pet rabbit program, or is there one for raising for meat, too? So, we have to look more into it. We haven't really done that yet. But it sounds like it's something little buddy is interested. It seems like it would be an easy addition to the homestead. Yes. It's not like we're going to have to like, need a get a horse or something, so... And some uh, people even walk them around on leashes. Nothing too too labor intensive. We're gonna keep looking into it and we'll let you know about our progress with that. And who knows, this winter we might be getting some rabbits. The builder made a lot of progress on our carport, which is fantastic. Six by six posts are cemented in the ground. We're building a 20 by 30 structure. Everything else can be done now. The important part about the project was just getting the wood into the ground before the ground freezes. Yeah, so all the posts are in, it's cemented. They're gonna level the tops and notch them for where the uh, cross braces will go and the trusses will go up and just keep going from there. Yay. 